Good evening, Christina, Janet, Mario. Thank you for being on time. How are you today? Do you have a good day? I hope you did. Good evening, Martiel. How are you doing today? Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Catherine. Thank you for being on time. Um, hi, Catherine. Okay, uh, yesterday we were practicing the future. We have been practicing the future with will, with the present continuous, with be going to. And yesterday we were answering um, the questions on the last exercise. I don't know if you finished that. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Matia. How are you today? I'm great and I'm ready. Great and ready. No traffic today? Um, so so. So so. Just a regular. Yeah. yeah. Okay, nice. A good thing to see you're home and you're safe now. Did you finish answering the questions yesterday? Yesterday, we were answering these questions. What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? We're having friends over uh, for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you like you and your parents to come? Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? So those questions uh, you were asked to answer, to reply to those invitations, did you finish yesterday? Or no? Not the chair, uh, but I, I made a paragraph about the uh, this topic, <clears throat> could I read, read them? Sure, thank you. Okay, this is a, a, an example. Mm -hmm. I'm going to study this night at 8 p.m. We are learning about use the will to express activities about future. We are using the present continuum and expression with be going to and negative form is. For example, I will watch movie after this meeting and I won't go to bed early because of the movie and I have to get up early tomorrow. Just that. Yeah, but that's excellent. You uh, connected the ideas uh, perfectly. So that was a very nice paragraph. And you could add, because I'm working tomorrow early. <laughs> I'm working early tomorrow. Yeah. But yeah. Is that true? Are you watching a movie? No, that's an example. No. At the end, at the end of the meeting, I have I have sleep. I have drink. Oh, so when the meeting finished, you were going to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think most of us. Sorry, teacher. I think that most of us are going to go to bed after the meeting. 
Uh -huh. So yes, today is um Wednesday, right? So yes, yeah. <clears throat> but I I think I I feel uh like more tired on Thursdays. I don't know yeah. why. And then on Friday I feel great. <laughs> when we finish the that meeting, teacher. Mm, we're going to finish next Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're missing <clears throat> five classes. Yes, we're going to finish on Tuesday. <clears throat> on Tuesday, okay. On Tuesday, and then you will have a short vacation before the next module begins. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can start planning for the next week. Maybe going out for dinner with your family. Mm, no, I have to work on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, really? Is it always yeah. like that? No, is it a regular no. schedule? No. No, it is a project in, in my job. And the next weekend is I have um, weekend off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Thank you so much for sharing. Is anybody else would like to share the answers or anything about this topic? No? Okay, so we have a vocabulary here about leisure activities. As you see in the previous exercise, um, we are talking about activities like, for example, having friends over, um, watching movies, working, etc. And we have uh, this vocabulary about leisure activities. So leisure activities, leisure refers to your free time. So that would be like activities that you do in your free time. That is leisure about, leisure activities. And let's take a look to this vocabulary. We have a barbecue, baseball game, beach party, bicycle race, birthday party, dance performance, picnic, play, rock concert, singing contest, tennis match, volleyball tournament. Is there any new vocabulary here? Any new word? Teacher, what no. is the difference between the game, play, and match? Ah, okay. Um, baseball game, uh, some of them, like for example, if you refer to baseball, they call it game. If you talk about soccer, uh, tennis, they call it match. Because it's, it's, um, it's that the way that they are composed. Así están como... como... Eh, compuesto, digamos, si se trata de béisbol, es béisbol game. Eh, pero lo que es soccer y tenis son match. Y siempre es como un match, es como una competencia, ya cuando es, eh, es, es competitivo. Un torneo. Un torneo, uh -huh. similar a un torneo. Y play, en este caso play, eso se refiere a un como digamos de teatro. Aquí les llaman como puesta en escena o un... Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, los que hay en el Teatro Nacional, a veces hay como obras que se presentan en los teatros, a esas les llaman play. That is, uh, if I said, would you like to go to a play next Saturday on the Teatro Nacional? Uh, se referiría a eso, como a una, a una función de teatro, a un, 
no sé cómo llamarles, mm. a una puesta en escena. Esos son los play. Is there any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta con este vocabulario? What does mean singing contest? Un contest es un concurso. Entonces sería un concurso de canto. A singing contest. Ah, oh, okay. Mhm. Uh -huh. Los contests son concursos. Any other question? Tournament is is like a um, torneo. Yes, that is correct. Okay. El que había dicho que significaba dance performance. Uh, dance performance es un um, eh, es un um, cómo decirle dance performance es como un espectáculo de de, de danza. A eso se refiere el performance es como un espectáculo espectáculo oh. de danza. Pero en sí, solo la palabra performance significa otra cosa, ¿verdad? Puede ser rendimiento también. Rendimiento, eh, desenvolverse, como si algo se desenvuelve. Se, uh -huh. eh, también ejecutar es perform. Uh -huh. Perform es ejecutar también. Dependerá del contexto. Any other question? Así que performance puede ser una actuación, rendimiento, desempeño, funcionamiento. Depende del contexto. Pero si performance tiene esos, esos son sus cuatro significados principales. Actuación, rendimiento, desempeño o funcionamiento. Any other question about this vocabulary? It's good that you're finding new words and new vocabulary. Any other question? Okay, if there are no more questions, we can go ahead and continue um, classifying this vocabulary into three categories. We have the three categories here. We have spectator sports, friendly gatherings, live performances. Questions about the categories? No questions? No. Okay, so um, you can do it in your notebook. You can work on part B. It says pair work, but we're not going to do it in groups or in pairs. We're going to do it all together in the main section and answer, um, well, the first part is to write the words uh, under the categories that we have mentioned here. And additional to this, you have to add one more example under each category, okay? Tienen que agregar uno extra para cada categoría, algo que no esté en la lista. Después de haberlos, eh, cuando hayan terminado las clasificaciones, pueden agregar uno más que, que se ajuste a la categoría. Tenemos spectator sports, friendly gatherings, and live performance. Por ejemplo, el primero, barbecue. ¿A dónde pondrían barbecue? Friendly gathering. Excellent. In friendly gatherings. Barbecue is a friendly gathering. So, yes. 
I'll give you time for you to continue classifying them and remember add one extra.
finished? Have you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, would you like to share with us uh, what do you have under the spectator sport category? I think uh, baseball game, uh -huh. bicycle race, uh -huh. tennis match, okay. volleyball tournament, mm -hmm. Um, I think soccer game. Oh, you added a soccer game. And Olympics game. Mm, okay, excellent. You added two more. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing, my dear. You did excellent. Okay. Um, friendly gatherings. Any volunteers for friendly gathering? Hi. Thank you, Mario. Birthday party. Birthday party, excellent. Barbecue. Barbecue, yes. A uh, picnic. A picnic, yes. Beach party. A uh, beach party, yes. And which one did you add it? Uh, wedding. A wedding, excellent, good idea. Thank you so much, Mario. Thank you for sharing, you did it great. Now, live performances. A volunteer for live performances? Podría ser este karaoke conquest, conquest. O contest es la cosa. Okay, that's the additional, a karaoke contest. Mm -hmm. According to the, this. Followed by tor tournament. Okay, for live performances, what do you have? Dance performance. Dance performance. Performance. Rock, rock concert. Rock concert. Uh -huh. Singing contest. Singing contest. Play. A play. Uh huh. And uh, an additional, I think, uh, beauty contest. Oh, a beauty contest like Miss World. Excellent. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. okay. Sure. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh -huh, Mario? A Bad Bunny concert. A <laughs> uh, Bad Bunny concert, okay. <laughs> yes. I'm the chiste. No, yeah, I know. Eso solo es como dice el Buki, ¿verdad? Con esta gente, ¿a dónde vamos a parar? Pero bueno, ahí están los, a quienes les gusta, ¿verdad? Se respetan, pues, gustos. Y colores, ¿verdad? Para eso son los colores, para los gustos también. Ok. <laughs> uh, ok. Are you going to do any of these activities in part A? When are you going to do them? This is the part B. In part B, we are going to share if... Uh, if we're going to do any of these activities uh, soon and share when are we going to do them. Uh, let me check uh, for me, I think. Mm, I think that, mm, I'm not sure which, which, uh, which is the auxiliary or the tense that I use if I'm not sure. ¿Cuál se usa si no estamos seguros? Mm, 
will going to or present continuous? Make. Sorry, Mario. Maybe. Mm, maybe, okay. But talking about future, en este ejercicio vamos a hablar si vamos a hacer alguna de estas actividades y cuándo las vamos a hacer. Entonces, como estamos hablando en futuro, hemos visto que si es eh, futuro cercano, podemos usar el presente continuo y utilizar una time expression sería ideal y lo más común. Y si ya es un plan, ya hecho, ya tenemos todos los arreglos, eh, entonces usamos going to. Y si no estamos seguros o lo decidimos en el momento, usamos will. Entonces, para hacer el ejercicio B, así sería. Por ejemplo, um, ahí están las preguntas. Are you going to do any of the activities in part A? When are you going to do them? Talk to a partner. We're going to do it in the main section. And for example, I think I think I I will have a barbecue with my friends this Sunday. Mm -hmm. We have not decided yet. Entonces, como no todavía no lo hemos decidido, se lo dijimos así como que eh, este reunión, no sé, veamos sábado, domingo. Entonces creo. Entonces, como no es algo seguro, no hay un plan todavía elaborado, usaré will. I think I will have a barbecue with my friends this weekend. What about you? Are you going to do any of these activities soon? I will have um, a birthday party on next Saturday. Excellent. To my son. Oh, it's your son. Yeah. Excellent. How are it going to be turning? Mm. He's going he to is, be? Yes. He is um, four Pardon. years old. Four? Yeah. And he's going to turn five? Turn, no, turn four. Ah, okay. Excellent. So, in this thought, you say he is going to turn four. Así es para decir cuántos años va a cumplir alguien. Se puede, ahí se los escribí en el chat para todos. Okay. So you can, you can say uh, the name of the person of the pronoun going to turn y la edad, ¿verdad? He's going to turn four en este caso. O podemos decir con he is going to B four. Esas son las dos formas en que se dice cuántos años va a cumplir alguien en inglés. Okay, teacher. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Excellent. And uh, great. Thank you so much for sharing. And that's, that's the idea of these activities to practice and learn more. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Anybody else? Who would like to share plans? Are you going to have any of these activities? Or only Magdiel and, and me? <laughs> the rest of you? Nobody? Okay, so I guess you're going to stay home for a while. Okay, now we have in this um, the future with be going to and will. So in this chart, you see the two verb forms and it says use be going to plus verb for plans you have decided on. Use will plus verb for possible plans before you have made that decision is what we practiced in um, a couple of minutes ago. So remember, if you have uh, the plans already made, decided, use be going to. If you are not sure, in that case, we are going to use will plus verb in infinitive without to. And we have 
some examples under each category, for example, for plants uh, that you have decided would be going to. What are you going to do? I'm going to relax at the beach. We're going to go surfing every day. I'm not going to do anything special. And then in the next part, use will plus verb for possible plans before you have made a decision. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch some movies. I don't know. I think I'll go camping. Probably I won't go anywhere. Any questions here? No questions? Okay, now being said that um, in this conversation that we have here, we are going to read the conversation and remember what is here in this chart. Tienen que recordar lo que hemos visto acá. Y basándonos en esto, vamos a completar la conversación y vamos a ver si necesitamos usar be going to o will. Así es que esto podemos discutirlo en los breakout rooms. Esto está en la presentación. Así que vamos a ir a breakout rooms para completar el ejercicio. Y antes que nada, voy a habilitar para que puedan compartir. Ok, there you go. Hello, classmate. Hello. I'm sharing my screen. Yeah. I know a computer. I'm going to share my screen. Ahorita estoy en el celular, no, no puedo. Compartir, ok. Thanks. Can you see? Yes. Okay, what do you think about the have you made any vacation plant plans? Well, I've decided on one thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Could be I going to go camping. What do you think? The script for how long 
I will be. Is it okay? I will be. I will, I will be. Will be. Why? Mm -hmm. I wait for weeks. Pero dice ahí que él ha decidido, ha decidido una cosa. ¿Eh? ¿Eh? Ir de ir a acampar. No. Entonces Ajá. ya está decidido. Yes, esa, cuando ya está decidido, decidimos going to, pero ahí falta algo. Antes de going uh, to, to, to be down. I, am. I am going to. I am going to. I'm going to go camping. That's great. For how long? How long? I will be away for a week. I only have five days. Obligation. In this case, is I think it's will. I will. Okay. I will be. Okay, so we set on. Será un camino de dos de, de, de una semana. Sí. It will be. I wait for a week. I only have five days on vacation. Next. So when are you leaving? I'm not sure. Teacher, in this case, we have to add a um, verb. Mm. No, 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 the verse is there in the last one you say Le in the question. Ah. The verb is go. En la última pregunta, ahí está el verbo, es go. En todas ya está el verbo, solo van a ir agregando be going ah. to or will. Mm -hmm. So in, in, in this case, letter B, I'm not sure I will probably live. Is it okay, teacher? If I say will? Yes, because it says I'm not sure, pero en la anterior, yeah. en la anterior se está diciendo con seguridad va a ir a acampar, voy a ir a acampar, y ya cuando ya tiene el plan hecho también ya sabe cuánto va a estar ahí. Entonces um, pienso que no sería will, sino que I'm going to be away 
for a week. No, en la anterior, en la que ya hicieron, en la B, anterior. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, falta algo. <ríe> Ajá. I'm going to be away. Okay. Uh -huh. Y en la otra, sí, sería will, porque ahí dice no estoy seguro. Entonces, cuando no estamos seguros, es will. I'm not sure I will. I will probably live around the end of May. Going are going uh, you are going to I think it could be will because will. and the next expression he said I mm. haven't thought about yes. that so que no yes, yes. Cuando se va a ir. exactly um, where are you will go? I haven't thought. Thought. Mm, okay. In what that. Is the, the, mm? How can I pronounce thought? Thought. 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 Mm -hmm. Thought. Okay. La pregunta and where are you going to go? Is with going to? Sí, la pregunta sí. Where are you going to go? Okay. <laughs> Next, what do you think, partner? Yes, I'm going to. Going to. Um, I am going to. I'm going to. Go to one. Go to one of the national parks. That's on like one. Yeah, maybe the next one. I... Um, I'm going. I'm going to. Going to. Yes. But the next is are you will rent company? He's, he's not sure. He said maybe. 
And yes. yes, and then the previous is I guess. Cuando dice I guess, también es como yo pienso, yo creo. Entonces no es seguro. I guess I am, I will go to one of the national parks. Ah, uh, okay. Teacher, what does it mean hiking? Hiking is hacer senderismo. Uh -huh. Como caminar en senderos, como montañosos. And the next one. Are. Are you going to rent a camper? I'm not sure. Actually, I probably will rent a camper. It's too expensive. And this one? Uh, it is, uh, tal vez I am going to the excursion and to fish. And to fish. Uh-huh. Y ahí que sería, porque ahí le preguntan. Sería un web, no sé. Porque le pregunta si va a rentar un, un camper. Un. Ok. Let's see, um, check in here. I will be away for, okay, en la primera parte, eh, dice que ya decidió ir de camping, entonces es, está correcto. I am going to go camping. Como está hablando de un plan ya hecho, eh, la siguiente respuesta donde le dice, that's great, for how long? También sería con going to, I am going to be away for a week. Está hablando del plan siempre, ¿verdad? De lo que ya tiene planeado. Recuerda que Will solo es cuando no estamos seguros. Pero ahí sí ya dijo que ya se decidió que va a ir de campamento. Y luego esta persona le pregunta por cuánto tiempo. Entonces sería, I'm going to be away. Ajá, going to.
En la siguiente está bien que escogieron will porque dice I'm not sure. I will. No está seguro. Pero no es necesario el be. I will be probably live. Ya tenemos el verbo live ahí, entonces no necesitamos el be. Solo I will probably live. Y en la segunda, and where are you? Think y go, los dos son verbos. Estamos usando going to o will. Entonces ahí falta, where are you going to? Y ya tenemos el verbo ahí, go. Solo es de poner going to. No. Sin A. La segunda, bueno, la siguiente, perdón. I haven't thought about that yet. I guess I will. Está bien porque dice I guess. Es como yo pienso, yo creo. Entonces, en esos escenarios usamos will. Igual, en la segunda, en la que sigues, that sounds like fun. Yeah, maybe, dice tal vez. Al decir tal vez, yo creo, no estoy seguro, usamos. Yeah, will. Will. Uh -huh. ¿Qué sería tu you will run a camper? In that one, maybe I will go hiking and do some fishing. Ahora, do you will rent a camper? Do es auxiliar y will también. Estamos practicando solamente will y be going to. Yeah, are. Are. Are you going to?
sería Will. Y aquí sería Will, porque nos, nos dice que Dice probablemente. que probablemente. Y sería en negativo porque dice it's too expensive. Es demasiado caro. I probably, I'm not sure. Actually, I probably will not rent a comfort. It's too expensive. Still going to go with anyone. <coughs> no, I need some time alone. I am going to travel by myself. By myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Y allí, María, hasta donde lo dejé, me fui a ver el otro room. Are you going to rent a camper? Okay, mismo en el. En la casi de la penúltima, del A y B, en B dice, I'm not sure. A la pregunta, are you going to rent a camper? I'm not sure. Actually, I probably rent a camper. It's too expensive. Dice, es demasiado caro. Entonces, sería will not o won't. Porque dice que es muy caro. Entonces probablemente no rente un camper porque es demasiado caro. Ahí va en negativo. Want. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. that's right, teacher. ¿Eh? Ajá, uh -huh. así como lo puse. Ah. Es want. Want. Pueden poner want o will not. Want okay. es la forma corta. So that's. Ajá. Uh -huh. And then you continue practicing. You're doing it good. Esa no la sabíamos. ¿Mande? Pues no. No, eh, want. Um, want es la forma contractada de will not. Como, eh... Sí. En especificaciones solo dice el, el will y el going to. Ajá. Por eso, esa no la sabíamos. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahí vamos. We are going to read one more time. Who is available? Si quieres comenzar con la letra A. Y yo con la B, compañero. Okay. How do you make any vacation plans? Well, I decide on one thing. I'm going to go camping. That's great. For how long? I'm going to be away for a week. I only have five days of vacation. So, when are you leaving? I'm not sure. I will probably leave around the end of the May. And where are you going to go? I haven't thought I haven't thought about that yet. I guess I will go to one of the national parks. That sound like fun. Yeah, maybe I will go hiking and do some fishing. Are you going to rent a camper? I'm not sure. Actually, I probably will will not. Rent a camper. It's too expensive. Are you going to go with anyone? 
No, I need some time now. I'm going to travel by myself. Okay. En principio estaba hablando con mi conciencia porque es activada el, <laughs> el micrófono. Ah, no problem. Bueno. ¿Quién continúa, Víctor? Si gustan de los otros compañeros, denle una vez más. Okay. Have you made any vacation plans? Well, I decide on on one time <clears throat> I am going to go camping. That's great. For how long? I am going to be away for a week. I only have five, five days of vacation. So when are you leaving? I'm not sure. I will probably leave around the end of May. And where are you going to go? I haven't thought about that yet. I guess I will go to one of the national parks. That sounds <clears throat> like fun. <clears throat> yeah, maybe I will go. And do some. Fishing. Are you going to rent a camper? I'm not sure. Actually, I probably will not rent a camper. It's too expensive. <coughs> Are you going to go with anyone? No, I need some time alone. I am going to travel be myself. Vamos a intercambiar si gusta. Okay. Hola. You... Hola. Van a practicar de nuevo. Sí, usa lo puede practicar. <coughs> Usted es mala de la garganta. Ah, le doy yo. Ok. ¿Con quién sería? Yo, yo puedo seguir. Ok. ¿You are A or B? B. Sí. Ok. How you made any vacation plans? Well, I decided one thing. I'm going to go camping. That's great. For how long? I'm going to be away for a week. I only have five days of vacation. So, when are you leaving? I'm not sure. I would probably leave around the end of May. And where are you going to go? I haven't thought about that yet. I guess I will go to one of the national parks. That sounds like fun. Yeah, maybe I will go hiking and do some fishing. <clears throat> Are you going to rent a camper? I'm not sure. Actually, I probably would not rent a camper. It's too expensive. All right. Are you going to go with anyone? No. I need some time alone and I'm going to travel myself. Okay. Perfect. Now, 
you are A and I am B. Okay. Okay. You start. Uh, okay. Have you made any vacation plans? Well, I've decided on one thing. I'm going to go camping. That's great. For how long? I'm going to be away for a week. I only have five days on vacation. So when are you leaving? I'm not sure. I will probably leave around the end of May. And where are you going to go? I haven't thought about that yet. I guess I will go to one of the national parks. That sounds like fun. Yeah, maybe I will go hiking and do some fishing. Are you going to rent a camper? I'm not sure. Actually, I probably won't rent a camper. It's too expensive. Are you going to go with anyone? No, I need some time alone. I'm going to travel by myself. Gracias, compañero. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm missing just three. Well, how was the practice? Was it interesting? I said that you were practicing and yes, um, I probably would think, ah, oh, the future is quite simple, but as you realize it requires a lot of practice, but you did it good. So everybody's here now, right? Okay, we are going to check attendance. So please uh, say present as soon as you hear your name. This is our first time checking attendance for today. Okay. Abigail Elizabeth. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Abigail Mejia. Okay, Abigail, thank you so much. Thank you. Ya vi que escribió en el chat. So thank you for confirming that you are in the meeting. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you for staying present in the chat. Valmore Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Valmore. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecilia Noemi Ramos. Uh, Thank you, Cecia. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present, Miss. Thank you, Francisco. Hazel Vanessa. Present. Thank you. And Julissa Yamile Pialta. Julissa Yamile. No, veo a 
Yulisa creo que no está entonces conectada el día de hoy. Ok. Carla Ivania. Thank you for writing, Carla. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Catherine. Luis Javier. Magdiel Esaú. Present teacher. I'm here. Thank you, Magdiel. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Present. Thank you, Melanie. Mirna Yanet. Thank you. Santos Cristina. Cristina en Víctor Noé. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, so we already did this exercise. I checked the rooms and you responses were correct as as I check them. And then I heard you practicing and you did it very good. Uh, but anyways, do you have any questions? Vi que estuvieron respondiendo bien. Chequeé los trabajos de los grupos en los que estuvieron eh, trabajando y también les escuché practicar. Pero igual, si hay alguna duda respecto al ejercicio, ¿no? Okay, uh, next exercise. Uh, have you thought about your next vacation? Write answers to these questions. If you have already plans, use be going to. If you have any fixed plans, use will. Okay, vamos, esto va a ser individual. Espero pues eh, que lo puedan hacer en su cuaderno y compartan en el, en el room. Pues eh, hay cosas que a veces damos porque el futuro está sencillo, pero eh, es común que se olvide poner el be cuando estamos usando going to, se nos olvida poner um, is or are, y eso es bien común, con lo que se corrige es con la práctica, así es que para eso estamos eh, con estas sesiones para, para eso, para practicar. Ahora, eh, las preguntas estas las van a contestar individualmente y recuerden que si ya tienen planes, utilizar going to. Si no tienen planes, um, usamos will. Ahí tenemos un ejemplo, que es lo que está en la cajita azul. I'm going to spend my next vacation en tal y tal cosa. Ahí empezamos a, a decir qué es lo que vamos a hacer, eh, contestando todas esas preguntas. Y si no están seguros, pueden con empezar con I'm not sure, maybe I'll, and this and this and that. Y las preguntas que tenemos que abarcar en la respuesta en nuestro párrafo serían How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? And is anyone going to travel with you? You can do it in a paragraph, uh, answering all those questions together, or you can answer them individually. So I'm going to give you time and you can work in your notebooks.
have you finished or you need more time? I finished your teacher. Okay, would you like to share with us? Okay. Thank you. Uh, number one question. How are you going to spend your next vacation? I write, I'm not sure, maybe I will travel on any place. And next one, where are you going to go? I will go to the Quatepeque Lake. Number three, where are you going to take your vacation? I have thought that I'm going to take on November. And next one, how long are you going to on vacation <clears throat> could be two weeks one week with my parents and another one I will travel to lake and the last one is anyone anyone going to travel with you yes I will travel with my wife and my son Excellent. Very well done, my dear. Thank you so much for sharing. Is okay. there anybody else? And the rest of you? Nobody else? Okay. Janet says uh, she's having issues with the internet and the rest of you, did you do anything? Did you practice? Did you write something? Okay, let's continue with the next slide. This is the last part of, or the last page of your material. You have this on page 40. And with this, we'll be finishing the material. Have you thought in any topic that you would like to review the coming days? ¿Han pensado en algún tema que le gustaría repasar? Estamos a punto de cubrir la última página del material. Entonces nos quedan estos días para repasar. Serían cuatro días de repaso, ver los ejercicios que nos hagan falta de la plataforma, el examen final, si tienen algún inconveniente con los ejercicios. De lo contrario, el repaso de mañana lo haría basado en el material de que hemos discutido en este módulo. No sé si tienen alguna eh, algún tema en específico que quisieran para el día de mañana practicar o repasar. Teacher. Sí. I would like um, take a review about the um, when we said cuando usamos las expresiones de, 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 de no debía haber hecho esto. Ah, ok. No debía haberlo hecho. Eso uh -huh. a mí me gustaría un repaso. Excelente. Uh, regrets and remorse. Ok. Anotado. <ríe> Entonces, eso sí, repasaríamos el día de mañana. Y si hay alguien más que tenga algo otro tema, lo puede hacer saber también. Entonces, para mañana estaríamos con el tema de los past models con el eh, participio.
para expresar regrets and remorse. Okay, so continue with page 40, we have this in which we'll be able to design a basic checklist to evaluate the effectiveness of staff training. As you remember, this unit in unit number four is about personal training. This is what we have been discussing in here. We have a short paragraph. It says, read the following excerpt about the importance of evaluating effects of a training program. Discuss the questions below with a partner. It says, training evaluations. Is there a volunteer to read this part? About training evaluation? A volunteer? Thank you, Mario. Training evaluation. Asking your employee to update code of the training is, a, is an important part of the evaluation of the de development program. A training evaluation questionnaire does the trainers feel training trainings feel of Upon completing, completing? The program, completing the program, is an effective tool. It may be an electronic survey, though a mail checklist or questionnaire right after the training is over. A training survey focusing on the application of the new list, the new skill. Once it works, have started using them in measures the effectiveness of the training program. Companies must combine such information with objective evaluation to get a complete picture of training results. Thank you so much, Mario. Thank you for reading for us. And then we have these questions. Number one. What are some alternatives to evaluate training? How do you make sure the effectiveness of a program? And number three, why should companies combine the results of training and the evaluation of training? We're going to answer these three questions in groups. So let's get in the breakup rooms. Hello. Hello. Are we ready? Hello. Más bien que no tiene para compartirlo. Sí. Es que yo acabo de llegar y estoy del teléfono hoy. No problem. Thank you.
Okay. Thank you. What are we doing? We are answer the question. Yes. Three questions. Okay. <clears throat> First, what are some alternatives to evaluate training? It may be an electronic survey through email, a checklist, or a questionnaire. Esa sería, ¿verdad? Eh, yo creo que sí, creo. An electronic survey through email, a checklist, or questionnaire. Right after the training is over. Uh -huh. En la primera, ¿cuáles son algunas alternativas para evaluar opciones? Training Survey Focus. And number two, how do you measure the effectiveness? Effectiveness of the program. Um, this is a training survey focusing on the application of the new skill once your worker have started using it. Sí, creo que sí. Use them, creo que sería. Using them. Hmm. No. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, companies must come. La última para mí sería I, because dice why word because the objective evaluation o solamente the objective evaluation uh, to get a complete picture of training result. Okay. O oh, si solo le ponemos <coughs> two complete pictures of training results. Okay. Eh, evaluation no. Ah, Eso porque dice, uh -huh, porque Because dice, the objective companies... is to get, podría ser, is to get a complete picture. Si gusta que te lees de evaluation. Así me decía, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <coughs> Um, two, three. Well, I Because they get a complete picture of the training result. Yes. <laughs> okay. 
Eso es todo lo que vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Sí, solo eso. Solo quiero ver si le puedo tomar una captura. Yes. Ok. Thank you. See you. Thank you so much. Okay, volunteer to share. I volunteer for question number one. What are some alternatives to evaluate training? Any volunteer? What are some alternatives to evaluate training? What do you have? May I answer the question, teacher? Okay. Um, it's, it may be an electronic service through email and checklist or questionnaire. Excellent, that is correct. Thank you so much for sharing. Do you have number two? How do you measure the effectiveness of the program? That's right. Uh, an application of the new skill once your workers have started using them. Very good, thank you so much. And number three, Francisco, do you have number three? Uh, objective evaluation, complete feature of training result. That is correct. Thank you so much for sharing. So that is the last exercise for tonight. Just let's uh, check attendance for a second time tonight. Abigail Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Valmore Alexander. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Carlos Emilio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cecilia Noemi. Present, teacher. Right, thank you. Francisco Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Julissa Yamile. Julissa Yamile. Carla Ivania. Catherine Beatriz. Luis Javier. Present teacher. Thank you. Mike Dielesau. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Present. Thank you, Melanie. Mirna Yanet. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. And Victor Noel. 
what are they doing? Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much. All right, thank you so much for joining today's section. To, and tomorrow we will start with the review. Have a good night and see you soon. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you, see bye. Tomorrow. Have a good bye. night, teacher. Sleep well. Good night. Good night. I did same for you. Blessing.